Well, I'm Tessa Smith with Mama's Geeky. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. Did it feel like this day was ever going to come? Because it's been it's been <laughs> a while. <laughs> It, it really, it's, it literally, that is kind of how it is. Cause it went from, you know, we were in production for so long and production's just, you know, it's just production, you know, it's, it's, you're working really hard, long hours, long nights, um, you know, stress and just work, you know, and trying to get it all to work and, and all those things. And then we were finished the show for a little bit and, um, the, the, you know, we were figuring out when best to put it out and we ended up putting it out a, a good bit, you know, in the future. So I've kind of, it's kind of existed for a long time and we're already moving, you know, we're starting on season two. So it's been kind of just, I forgot it was not out yet, like in a way, like it's been, <laughs> I've seen it so many times and I know it so well that I'm like, oh yeah, the, oh my gosh, like nobody's seen it yet. <laughs> um, so no, this, this really feels unreal that we're at this point that we're like 10 days, old. like they, I think literally the countdown has started for um, the episodes. So I'm so, it feels unreal that we've gotten here now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to tell you, so we got five episodes and and in the end of the fifth episode, I was like, how dare they not give me more? This <laughs> Like I need more. I put it on and I, I watched them all back to back to back to back. I couldn't stop watching it. So first oh, of all, so congratulations. Good. It's phenomenal. Um, but I'd love to talk about finding that aesthetic because that's one of my favorite things. It's just it's so beautiful in the reds and the whites. And so how did you settle on that? Um, when it came to the aesthetic of hell, I really wanted to do something a little different. I feel like we have so many, there's so many different ways you can do hell. Obviously it's, it's this fantastical thing, um, that can exist in so many forms. And, um, for me, I really wanted to go with like a city, you know, I was like, I wanted it to be like the sleazy city, like a mix of like New York and like Vegas, just like kind of the sleaziest parts, like very bright, very expressive, but like, you know, tons of strip clubs and bars and, and clubs and just all these places where like sin can happen. And um, when it came to the colors, obviously we like associate, I feel hell with fire and with reds and, and blacks and things like that. And I really wanted to lean into that because I do think it's just a very iconic look for a setting. Um, and uh, we studied a lot of different like, you know, creative backgrounds that look really amazing. Like um, I, a, a one big influence on me when I was growing up was uh, Batman the Animated Series and they would do red skies a lot. So we would study kind of like how did they pull that off. It's really tough to have. And for our show, it's kind of extra tough because we have red skies on red things and red everything. So there was a lot of challenge. Um, my art director, Sam Miller, she um, really did a good job of like how many different reds can like work together. And it, it took some figuring out. <laughs> well, one thing I want to talk about too is this cast because I mean, get after get after get. I mean, they are all absolutely phenomenal was this like your dream cast and how did it feel to kind of land them all oh it's it, it's ultimately it ended up being such a dream cast um we we auditioned the characters and it was so like it was so incredible to see some of the names that would pop up on the on the you know in the in the little the files they would send me and um yeah it, casting it was was so so fun and I mean it was it was challenging in a lot of ways and it was difficult in a lot of ways because there there were so many elements at play but it was ultimately just fun hearing so many people read for these characters and just kind of find like wh who you know what they would end up being in the final show um and I, I just love the cast so much like they they really really put their all into it and you could tell that they knew there was an element of history with the characters and there was a lot of respect put and love put into the characters yeah was there uh room for them to improvise at all or were they kind of like sticking to the script Oh, we love like me, me and my um, voice director, Richard Horvitz, um, he reads with the actors, which I think adds, you know, the, there's a element of, of them sounding much more natural because they are playing off of another actor who's acting with them. I think it makes all the difference for a voice director to do that. Um, but on top of that, that led to a lot of very natural, like, yeah, like, like improvising. We do a lot of um, things called efforts, which are basically like the sounds, you know, like like oh someone's getting punched you have to make a you're getting punched sound and you'd be surprised how many like funny things come from just like <laughs> things like that like the actor especially 
we do also things called walla which is basically like okay we're in a room full of people you're at a party just start talking and we'll, we'll have it in the background and so many things like so many actual jokes in the show that i like left it i left in because they just came up <laughs> with in instances like that and i was like that's hilarious i'm gonna I'm going to leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And I've got to ask about the music because these songs, like I want a soundtrack now. There's going to be a soundtrack available, right? Please tell me. Yes. Yeah, eventually. Yes. We're we're putting them out. It's a little tricky because I know they're staggered. So I think they're still working out like how, but there will be a, a full soundtrack. Absolutely. Oh. oh, goodness. Can you talk about the songs and like the inspiration behind them all? Because they're all so good. I find myself singing them all the time. Thank you. No, the songs are incredible. They're done by our amazing songwriting team, uh, Sam and Andrew, and they um, they seriously, like, they, the amount of songs they turned out in such a short amount of time and the fact that they're all so good and, like, such, like, just earworm bangers is an incredible testament to their talent. And, um, yeah, like, the songs vary depending on the character singing and the context of the episode so really um it really depended like like we determine the songs based on like what feels right when we're when we're kind of in the writing room like figuring it out so once we knew those moments like okay this is going to be a song this is going to be a song it was fun to like go all right what genre of song is this going to be because there's so many characters and all their genres are kind of different mm -hmm. so you know you can go from uh, a very slow like acoustic kind of ballad to like a pop you know like a pop song to like an 80s you know an 80s -y song to like a classic broadway sounding song to like electro swing like it goes all over the place um <laughs> and it's very fun awesome well thank you so much for your time and i know fans have been waiting for this forever i mean episode one was like 2019 it's crazy <laughs> so uh I know everyone's excited to see it and I think they're going to be very very happy um so congratulations thank you so much I appreciate that so much and I'm so glad you say that I really hope everyone is too <laughs> I think so the way it was worth it I swear it was worth it amazing I'm so glad <laughs> thank you so much for your time I appreciate it